I'm Carol Fishman Cohen, the CEO of iRelaunch. The Society of Women Engineers iRelaunch STEM Reentry Task Force is an initiative to create reentry internships for returning engineers. We have as the founding members seven companies IBM, Intel, General Motors, Caterpillar, Cummins. Johnson Controls, and Booz Allen Hamilton, who are all committing to pilot a reentry internship program during 2016. And at the end of 2016, the Society of Women Engineers will have their annual conference, WE16, and a, an intern from each one of those programs who has transitioned into a permanent hire will be up on the stage talking about their transition and we'll also have the program managers from each one of those companies talk about the work that they did to create the program within their companies. There are not enough engineers, female engineers, in the pipeline. And most of the great initiatives that are out there right now um, to increase the pipeline of females who go into technical fields are attacking the problem from the young women and young girl side, girls who code and um, girls in high school and having girls who are in college stay in technical majors. But this initiative attacks the problem from the experienced higher side, looking at women who are already credentialed, who already have the work experience, but who have left the field for one reason or another, and in many cases think that it wasn't even possible for them to get back in. And now, through the STEM Reentry Task Force, the companies involved are demonstrating not only are they welcoming these women back in and they want them to come back in, but they're providing an institutionalized path back that includes support and updating and a cohort structure so they can go through the process together on their way back to reentering their technology careers. We're really excited about the companies that are involved because they're some of the largest global engineering-based companies in the world. We have had such a great reaction to the STEM Reentry Task Force and the programs that have announced so far and the anticipation of the programs that are going to be announced in the next couple of months. There are engineers who are getting in touch with iRelaunch and with the Society of Women Engineers who felt when they left their technical careers that they weren't going to have a chance to return, but now they know that there's a path back and we're getting great response on the individual level and also on the company level. So these seven companies that are the founding members of the STEM Reentry Task Force are really uh, setting an example for other companies in the sector to join in and offer similar programs. Returning to work after a career break is, is not an easy pathway. Uh, you have to reinvigorate networks, you have to uh, update your skills, uh, you have to reconnect professionally again. But for the technical relauncher, and we call them relaunchers, there's an extra layer. That updating piece can sometimes be significant. Maybe you need to get a Lean or Six Sigma certification. Um, maybe uh, you need to take new programming and coding skills. So there's an additional layer of updating that I think is an additional challenge for the technical relauncher, but we are seeing technical women relaunch their careers. Uh, some have done it independently, and now many, many more will do it through these formal programs. The cohort structure is a critical part of the reentry internship programming, both for the individual returning professionals and also in the case of the STEM Reentry Task Force for the program managers who are running the programs. And part of the task force is that every month the program managers from each one of the seven founding member companies um, meet together. Uh, and I meet with them, and Jennifer Scott from Society of Women Engineers meets with them, and we are able to exchange best practices. We are able to talk about roadblocks and how to um, fix those and, and, and make them better. We are able to talk about triumphs and excitement around a new landing page being set up or a job description being um, set or uh, parameters about the program, how long it's going to be, or how many people are going to be involved, or where. 
and to experience this as a cohort is helpful to all of us. For seven global engineering-based companies to establish these programs within the same time frame as a group, as part of this formal initiative, signals to companies in all sectors that this is a viable pathway to reconnect with people who are ready to return to work when they're ready to uh, commit themselves and be part of the full-time workforce again. And that signaling, I think, is significant and historic, and we're gonna see other sectors follow the lead of the STEM reentry task force. So we call people who are returning to work after a career break relaunchers. And we actually use that term in part because it's not a male or female term, it's gender neutral. And I should note that these programs are open to men as well as women. So men who have taken career breaks and want to return to work are also eligible to apply and participate in these programs. So relauncher is one term that we use. The 40-year-old intern has become a description for the mid-career professional internship as distinct from the internship that might involve someone just graduating from college or graduate school. Uh, but it involves people in their 40s, in their 50s. Um, so it's sort of a catch-all term for that concept. Sometimes people are concerned about the use of the word internship in connection with the population of people who are mid-career, and they're worried that um, isn't that somehow devaluing them or equating them to someone who is an entry-level employee. But we really think the opposite about it. First of all, the internships are paid. Um, and secondly, um, people who uh, complete the programs feel that they're in a better position to uh, be in a negotiation and command a competitive salary. And third, if you think about the process of returning to work after a career break, it can be a long, arduous process, and there are lots of pieces involved. So the fact that you can have part of your process be that you spent six weeks or 12 weeks or 14 weeks in an internship-like arrangement is actually a resume-worthy experience. For employers and individuals, returning engineers, who want to find out more information about the program, they should go to reentry.swe.org.